What up? Newsboy here, special report coming right at ya. I'm just making a ham sandwich, what a privilege. Special report. Global climate change, Al Gore was right. Let's talk about it tonight on... Hardcore Special Report! Global climate change is a huge problem in the world. Let's talk about some of the causes. Deforestation. When forests are cleared, large amounts of carbon dioxide are released into the air. Plants use CO2 to grow, so when people clear these forests, there's less plants to suck up all the vast amounts of CO2 in the air. So I mean, right off the bat, you've got this possibly never-ending cycle of the gas in the air that just warms us up. Warms us up. Forever. <sighs> Boy. Not good. Greenhouse emissions. Human activities result in many greenhouse gases polluting the air all over the globe. Here you can see that as a whole, CO2 is responsible for 76% of the emissions, followed by methane, nitrous oxide, and F gases. F gases are emitted through industrial processing and refrigeration, as well as many consumer products. Ooh, boy, that sucks. When people burn fossil fuels like coal and oil, so much CO2 is released into the air. And to tie it back to deforestation, there's still less and less plants that are able to suck up this CO2. <laughs> With all the causes of global climate change, there is just a plethora of impacts and effects, and they're all pretty dang bad. Pretty bad. Such as... Rising sea levels, increasing coastal flooding, longer, more dangerous forest fires, intense heat waves, health problems, destruction of coral reefs, severe droughts, it's your fault, crazy floods, disruption of food supplies, abrupt climate changes, extreme weather events, melting glaciers, no more spring, no more fall, summer forever, winter forever! But amongst all this darkness, there is a teeny bright shining light. Not all hope is lost. In December this year, representatives from nearly 200 countries around the world got together in Paris to sign a climate deal. Now what the heck is a climate deal? Well, I'll tell you, sweet handsome boy. Every country that has signed this climate deal agreed to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions that are warming the earth, at least by a little bit. Hopefully by a lot though, you know what I mean? Mm. Climate change is finally being realized as one of the Earth's most crucial problems. But I don't know if this is gonna work. I mean, look, lowering emissions is certainly one way to do it. But I say, we send a bunch of people through a wormhole in space in search of a suitable replacement for Earth, and we just start fresh. And if we don't find one, we don't find one. But I'm willing to bet the universe will give us one heck of a pat on the back for even trying anything, and that's good enough for me. But hey, that's just me. No one idea can solve this huge problem. The world has to work together and try harder. Just pitch in a little. Recycle, carpool, trust science. It's all your fault. Ride a bike, push your car into a lake. <laughs> Just kidding, that would dirty up the lake. Push your car off a cliff, plant a tree. Kanye 2020, put literally all your faith in science. All I'm trying to say is we could all learn something from the movie Interstellar. And also, climate change is happening. And it's very, very bad. But there are many ways to fight it. What are you going to do about it? If you're not going to do anything, just, just just come with me. Let's check out this big, beautiful blue world we're living on. Holy crap, now that is some grass. That's one heck of a bush, dude. Wow, that is one heck of a sky. Get a load of those weeds. Wow, what a beautiful world. Now let's make a difference, bro.